What is up, y'all? We are back with another episode of Pushing Buttons. This is episode four, five. Uh, and I am one half of the bromance B. And today I am joined by a plethora of people. To my left, <laughs> <laughs> I have the very popular melanin glowing, microphone toning, skin glowing, the second most beautiful man on planet Earth right after my pappy. Keith. What's going on? How are you guys? All right. <laughs> and to the left of Keith, we have a brand new person to the podcast, a friend of the show now, joining us to talk some shit and promote. Um, <laughs> I would say we're going to be friends at the end of this, so a very good friend of mine now, <laughs> Amy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for welcoming me here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then all the way, all the way, all the way to the end of this couch and off of the couch, we have the very popular, very Instagrammable, <laughs> Miss IG her damn self, Claudia. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, man, that's the Pushy Buds podcast. Um, before we go around the room and see how everybody is doing, I do want to say that we are on all streaming platforms. We are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and we are on Anchor for your ass. And we're on YouTube, so go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. Keith would greatly appreciate it, even though he won't tell you. <laughs> so we're going to go around the room and see how everybody is doing. We'll start off with Keith. Keith, how you be? Doing fine. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great. It's getting All right. Hot. It is getting hot. You feeling it? Mm-hmm. Did you get a tan? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not in the sun much. All right, cool. Um, Amy, how you be? Um, I started off the week a little rough, but yeah. we're doing we're doing great. We're doing better. All right. So thank you for asking. That's cool. <laughs> Claudia, how you be? I'm good. I'm excited that the temperature. See, we got some people behind the scenes that, giving you the giggles. <laughs> yeah, and Tell like, them to stop. come on now. <laughs> but no, um, I'm good. I'm just glad that the temperature is getting high, getting up mm-hmm. there. Sweet, not me. It's making um, me feel better. It's making me feel better. Is know? it some vitamin C? Uh, yeah. I'm good. For sure. I don't like that shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you switched up on us. What's up, LA? Are you a Cali girl now? Yeah. Eww. I love the fit, though. I love yeah, it. I like the fit. She's got yeah. the fits going. Yeah. All right. Well, Sun myself. Coming. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> myself. I am doing all right, about as good as it's going to get. Um, some cool changes in my life are happening. So we're moving up in the world. I feel good. Everything's good. I'm glad to be potting with y'all. I'm glad we have a guest today. We should be cool. We're going to get into some shit. While trying to promote promote a new podcast <laughs> on the horizon, first time ever on the Pushing Buttons podcast, we never promote other people's shit on here. Thank you. But, so you'll be the first yeah. one. But you'll be the thank you. you'll be the first <laughs> one we do. I'm a firm believer of not doing that, but <laughs> we're doing you a solid because we I feel promise, no, no, we're not nobody big, so don't even trip about it. It's just that for some reason it feels weird, right? I mean, um, I love it so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so we're going to start off this week with a random thought. Uh, Keith was supposed to have it this week, but, he but chose I volunteered, he volunteered. To, to, to have it because I really wanted to talk about this shit. And our, our peers here are going to like this shit, too. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> and it revolves around Miss Kendall Jenner. I don't know if you guys are aware of what's been going on with Miss Kendall Jenner on the mm. internets um, and on the Twitter sphere. Yep. Bad place to get your information from. Let's... <laughs> remind the folks about that but <laughs> so kendall jenner kendall jenner was making headlines recently i think today or a couple of days ago or whatever <laughs> but sometime this week she was making headlines right she is uh promoting her new tequila line right she put out an ad for it it's very mexico-esque right it's very you know She's wearing a cowboy hat. She's got... I didn't watch the fucking trailer, by the way. I just heard of it. And I read up on it. And I was like, well, let's talk about it, right? We're not fact-based. So I just wanted to see where you guys stand on this because I'm really fucking sick and tired of mm-hmm. this cancel culture, people. And I know we talk about this all the time, but now it's really mm-hmm. starting to bug me. Um, so they came at her. They said it was culture appropriation, that she was doing all that shit, mm-hmm. right? They were talking crap. I'm going to assume that most people complaining about that shit were now Mexican. I'm just going to assume. Okay. I'm going to assume that it wasn't Mexicans and it was a bunch of fucking people 
mm-hmm. Karen's to be specific. Sorry, Jade. But that <laughs> <laughs> that that are sitting at home on their computers, drinking Starbucks coffee, and telling them everybody about how much they care about the world, right? So mm-hmm. they called her out for this shit. I just wanted to hear how you guys feel about this cultural appropriation shit. And the only reason I'm saying that is because Dwayne The Rock Johnson came out with one himself himself. And nobody said a damn fucking thing. And as soon as Kendall Jenner came out with something, they want to talk shit about her. Why do you think that is? Because she's white. Because she's white? And The Rock's, what, black? Kind of? He's more of, <laughs> kind what of. is he? Mixed race, I think. He's just. Where is he from? Where is The Rock Isn't from? Samoan? Isn't he Samoan? Samoan, 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 Samoan. Samoan. Yeah. Is that black? That's. Paci- <laughs> would that be considered Pacific Islander? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Pacific Islander. I, think okay. I mean, that's it's more. Pacific Islander. That's more like. You know, brown Asian. though, like it's more okay. So, so, so we didn't have a problem with that though with him. He's not Mexican. I no, know. he's not. So, why do you guys think they attacked Kendra because she's white? I don't think. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. What do you think it she is? She has money. I know. I think it's because when it when they came out with the you know her being a cult the culture vulture basically it's she didn't deny it or like try to empower the hispanic community it was more so like all right that's what i am and then like create uh, let me create a commercial on being a culture vulture like if you have you looked at the commercial did you no you watched it i did and it basically is like her with hispanic workers in the back nice acting like she worked in the field that's typically like, where we are. We're at, and it's, it's like not, it's, 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 we're in the background. <laughs> but, but if, and I can know, say that assholes, I'm Mexican. If oh. Mr. Johnson did that, I'd I'd have a problem with it. But you know, Kendall did it, so I had a problem with it. Oh, so because she put it on camera, and The Rock didn't. He just does it behind the scenes. So you know? did The Rock give props to Mexican culture for creating tequila? You know what? I don't know. But mm-hmm. I just so the fuck. What if he did? I didn't, didn't know. Because, I didn't know he created tequila. <laughs> right, because you mentioned something along the lines of people calling her out and her not mm-hmm. saying like, "Yeah, I got my inspiration from this specific culture." Mm-hmm. But then The Rock didn't do it either. Mm-hmm. He kind of just came out right. with something yeah. and was like, "Is this more go. of a woman man thing?" You think, Claudia? Ooh. Honestly, I don't think so. No, Mm-mm. I genuinely think it has to do with the fact that she's white and that she did that commercial. Yeah. Or she's just a Kardashian. And the quote unquote, unquote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. which we've had this argument right at places yeah. where we were arguing about whether there, you know, Kali was a self-made mil- billionaire and everybody looked at me like I was crazy. But mm-hmm. like, I think that's just them. Right. Yeah. We hate mm-hmm. on whether it's it could be anybody else. And we hate on mm-hmm. it. Right. Like there's to me, there wasn't a problem with it. Like I don't give a fuck what you do. Why are you making tequila? Who gives a shit? <laughs> like everybody's making hard seltzer. Like the, the, who the fuck yeah. cares? Right. Like it's it's about like. I just don't see the problem with it. And I think too often yeah. we're just caught up in trying to... What do you think, Keith? People. you think it's more of a woman-to-man thing? Do you think it's more uh, Mexicans <laughs> uh, are mad? Do you think Mexicans are mad? Do I look the, mad? No, you don't look mad. I don't think you care too much. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you care too much. I don't. I just think it's uh, a person that's want to make money. I think people don't like it because she's already rich and why she's coming out with a tequila line I could see just that. to make I could more see money. That. Because that's the cool thing to do. Uh, and <laughs> well, you got to keep your money going. Yeah, you gotta right? Keep investing. People just you want, why do we constantly it. hate on people making money? Because because <laughs> people want your money. That's why. Well, get your own money. Make your own tequila. <laughs> Didn't work out, right? <laughs> <laughs> but again, the more popular you are, the easier it is to sell a line. Yeah. The easiest to yeah. sell product. No, I'm not her target. I don't think mm-hmm. she's any Mexican's target. No, she's not. But people know her, though. Like, demo. Yeah. You know, like, we're not her demo. We're not, we're yeah, not. but she can reach more if she does this. No, People she, will like her more, probably. You think some Mexicans like this? All right, so let's go around the room. Let's, let's see who... You didn't think you, they liked it? What? Her, her line. You don't think some Mexicans will like it? Probably. And I mean, now I don't like her shit. and follow her? If, it's, if the tequila is good, yeah. it's good. But right. I don't think it will take mm-hmm. away from, like, the classic Don Julio or, like, the Cuervo one. Like, those yeah, are I feel like classics. they speak for themselves. Yeah. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. So the tequila, bas- basically, yeah, will speak And even though they're itself. oversaturated, like, they're just, mm-hmm. tequila is the, the, the end thing. Mm-hmm. Well, they, I talked about this with Rojas on the podcast, right? I said, Mexicans don't give a fuck about half the shit. <laughs> I mean, we're always constantly fucking getting, I guess, cult- culturally appropriated. appropriated yeah. All the yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Like, that happens all the time. We were talking, me and Rojas talked about tacos. Taco Bell's bus. hasn't gotten. I love shit fucking Taco for Bell for 
culturally appropriating Mexican food. Right. Like, we're not trying to cancel them. If anything, we're trying to make them more fucking vegan for white people. <laughs> like, we've ripped off half the menu. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, like, I don't get it. I don't understand what, what, what the issue is. Mm-hmm. So, do people want people to make tequila to be Mexican? That's what? I guess. Well, 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 I wonder if tequila is strictly mm-hmm. Mexican. Is that, what, is that what people want? What? Just a culture to do one specific thing? Like, Seems like it. Like it should be just a Mexican doing the tequila? Yeah, well, well, why? I think, I think they had a problem with her because of the commercial more so, but it's just like... That's how we dress. Before the commercial, though, they had a problem with her doing it either way. So I don't know. You're right. Like it's just a mixture. I don't know. That's how we dress. Like when are we going to start being like, yo, that's mm-hmm. us. <laughs> uh, like that's us we dress that way we look that way we like tequila yeah no oh, what's up amy i was it. just like i was just a lot like why the braids you did too much we, we gotta see we gotta you see it because to be fair like i haven't seen the commercial so i don't like know. she has two braids come on come on <laughs> what she look like the lady from the los comales she, logo or yes. what like oh my God. <laughs> she <laughs> really she really did the whole like two braids with a sombrero tied that's good to her neck. what was she supposed to like, do yeah that's what i'm saying what is she supposed to do <sighs> just at did least you, like, oh, did you no, like, no i'm not like, even gonna say it you know what you know what would have been better you know what would have been better like what did you want her to do put on some be like buy my tequila yeah that's <laughs> how she could have just went in the same outfit no. she went to for the pepsi commercial and it would have been fine like had she just been there and been like a taste tester for it the commercial would have been 10 times better but then you gotta act like you're working the field come out no but that's part of setting the line though <laughs> yeah you gotta act even you gotta, if you don't know jack shit about it i'm sure she doesn't know she jack shit don't about know what, anything about it about what goes into making tequila <laughs> <laughs> that's true but she probably just has the resources to fund it. Yeah, I think a lot of people are just upset that she is just a millionaire already. And it's just like, why would you, you know, go into something that, you know, is culturally Mexican? Like, so we don't want other people to experience other people's culture. That's what we don't want. <laughs> that's what it basically that's what, boils I'm, that's down. what I'm getting at. I think that's what culture appropriation boils down to. Yeah. yeah. As you wanting your stuff and you wanted it to be just you and nobody else. But then it's offensive, and that's where the, the I that's where I draw the line at least, like where it's offensive. Like I'm like, all right, let's like where people wear Halloween costumes with like ponchos. I'm like, that's offensive. You're doing too much, or like the taco. <laughs> yeah, or the taco, or that's actually kind of cool. Or though. the the, the what what else did they do? Or the the vatos when they dress up like the vatos. I'm like, all right, well, uh, you know, you don't like that one. I don't know. It just. We're not there yet, though. We're not at that level of cancellation. It grinds my gears. We're not at that level of cancellation. I don't cancel, but I it grinds my gears. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not at that level. (laughs) Shit, you've been learning that level either. (laughs) You can be Scarface all you want. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be cool. I've never tried to be Scarface. I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I'll try to imitate the Cuban accent. (laughs) Would you be mad? No. 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 Is it worse if another minority does it to another minority? No. Or is it is it just specifically white people? You know what? Ah. Yeah. 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 You got me. You got me there. What do you, you think? Got me there. It's just specifically white people, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. Because if a black guy did it to, a, would you be mad if a black guy dressed like I don't know, like some member from Boys in the Hood or something like that? No. Okay. No. It wouldn't offend you. No. Yeah. See. And I wouldn't be mad if you were like Cheech from Up in Smoke. Like it just wouldn't bother me, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess different different strokes for different folks. I guess. Yeah. But cool. I just wanted to see where you guys stood on that. Um, I thought it'd be an interesting little icebreaker to get everybody loose. Um, before we get into some other stuff, more more cultural stuff, right? More yeah, for sure. more uh, race, more <laughs> as if we don't have enough of that. Um, so yeah. The reason we're here today shooting this particular episode is because our friend Amy here is going to be starting a podcast. And so we had a couple questions lined up. Awesome. And one of them is, what the hell is this podcast about? (laughs) And do you have a name for it? Yeah. So right now it's a work in progress name. I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of like friends or chismositas type of like it's just a gossip kind of podcast where we talk about things that are important in our lives 
And that being also hard topics. Um, hard topics about. like how? Um, like basically what it is growing up as immigrant children or mm-hmm. minorities or even just like um, hard topics in my life specifically, which is like, uh, you know, bullying as a as a kid and things like that, that like has then, you know, snowballed and had a snowball effect in my life now as an adult. And so things that are hard for other people to grasp and talk about. And that's what I want to make the podcast about. And I want to bring on people that know more than me. Yeah. So it's a minorities driven, Latino, Latina, Latinx driven podcast, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so what about, what about that in particular? So it's, it's based on your personal, is it, is that what you, where you came up with the idea? Yeah, I think I, I came up with the idea with just like having these hard conversations with my family members where we come to a point in our career now that we're so hesitant to um, like commit to something bigger because we have our parents uh, like always bound to us, you know, and, and you know, as a, as a Latin community, that's always the thing where um, wherever we go, our parents are always tied to us. And in a way, it's it's not bad because I love my parents. Who doesn't, you know? But in some other ways, it does hold you back from bigger opportunities um, because you think of the family as a whole and what uh, benefits the family instead of just you. So it's more selfless. Um, I think everybody's selfish, you know, to a certain extent, but I think Latinx communities are taught to be selfless when it comes to their elders and we don't talk about it so cool can can i ask a question is it difficult to is it difficult to to discuss with your parents say that you want to venture out from under yeah it's super 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 difficult yeah like how would that conversation even start um i mean recently i told my parents that i wanted to move out to california and they brought up everything negative about California. And yeah, so California it's, sucks. it's super hard to get past the negative part and then them just like accepting, okay, well, she wants to move. So, okay. Yeah. So then like every conversation isn't like a building one. It's more so a, a okay, step down, like, you know. Oh, so you, so so do you feel like they're not, uh, they're not hearing your side of it? Absolutely. Of what, okay, that's what yeah. I'm Yeah. And so I think I... I I brought on the idea with the podcast because I relate, like I talked to my friends, I vented about me moving to California and I was like, I don't understand why they don't understand, you know? And they're like, oh, well, I feel the same way, you know? And I talked to like 10 or plus different Latin women and they're just like, you know what? That's why I haven't moved, you know? That's why I haven't ventured off. My parents are the same way, you know? And so that's where that conversation is difficult to talk about it. Amy, you're Mexican? I'm Guatemalan. Guatemalan, <clears throat> nice. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. Um, Very good. So Guatemalan, that's different. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I had Guatemalan. I did have a Guatemalan friend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How, are, how? What do you? What do you know about like Guatemala so far? Um, I just know that their Spanish is different. Like yeah. every other Spanish, <laughs> is just oh, different. Weird. It's a little bit different, right? Yeah. Everybody has different words, different sayings, different everything. I would say it's weird. Have you Have you met anyone Guatemalan? I, in high school, one or yeah. two people, but it wasn't anything where I could say it was a friendship. Oh, uh, yeah. No, yeah. mine, the childhood just... friend was like yeah. Guatemalan. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had, there was words that made me laugh <laughs> uh, that sounded different from mm-hmm. what I would normally, or just their, like, uh, the way they refer to certain things made me laugh, right? And so then growing up, like a young kid, you're like, what the, f-? like, I didn't know that, like, my parents didn't tell me that shit meant that, like, that's wrong. Yeah. I'd be like, no, nah, that's not wrong. Uh, that's just a uh, different Spanish, you know? And then the parents would be like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's different. And so yeah. it, it was an interesting, you know, thing. I do want to mention, though, you mentioned before we started the podcast, yeah. right, that you wanted to talk about, uh, you wanted to have, it was a women thing, right? More of a women empowerment thing, mm-hmm. basing it off women. I like these conversations, right? These are, these are the type <laughs> of conversations I like to have. So maybe I could be a guest on your podcast one day. But... um. <laughs> I do like to have these conversations about men and women because I always think that there's a clash of heads, right? Yeah. 
there's always a clash of head mm-hmm. and and you know it's always one is better than the other right <laughs> so we're constantly trying to tear us down that's why we have claudia here she's backs us up on some things <laughs> and we can talk crap and she can talk crap you know she called me a pussy last week <laughs> oh, yeah. so, you know and it, oh my god and, and it and it was good right and we took it we took it to the chin right she like it was it there yeah. yeah 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 she she you know hit me right in the chin with it and i took it like like I'm supposed to, I guess you could say, yeah. right? Or I'm so, like how they tell you you're supposed to, right? So anyway, yeah. back to women, right? Yeah. I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you said empowerment, empowerment with women, right? Mm-hmm. And so let's stay on that for a bit, Absolutely. and maybe we can all and we can all talk about this yeah. as well, right? Mm-hmm. How often are women supportive of other women? And this is, this is a question for you two folks, right? Yeah. Um, you want to? You could go first. Yeah. I. Th- genuinely believe that there are some women who are supportive 100 percent of other women Mm -hmm. but majority of women there is a sense of insecurity that Mm -hmm. can sometimes kick in and as much as we would like to support we'll support and then we'll go around and just talk shit you know, and mm-hmm. that is something that I do notice and I have to be honest about when it comes to women. Mm-hmm. Um, that is a trait that a lot of us have that is not a good trait. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I, I honestly don't think that we're as supportive as we make it seem to be. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I would agree with it. I think um, the, the way that we want to be is way different than where we are at currently. Um, I think a lot of the times um, I find myself insecure with even my own friends, but I, I don't do it in a jealous way, but it's, um, I don't blame other women for sometimes like feeling the way that they do. But when it comes out in such a like vindictive way, it's kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, why are you throwing her, you know, to the side like that, you know? But I, I definitely feel like our goal is way bigger than where, where we are as women. Like, I think we we definitely need to step up um, and support Do you think that'll ever happen? Do y'all think that'll ever happen? Where you reach a point <laughs> where women aren't going to women, I, I guess? I so. How about you? <laughs> How did you say that? I, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Okay. Um, she said it, not me. <laughs> simply because and we've mentioned this before there's this toxic femininity going on mm-hmm. that women take it as feminist mm-hmm. and no you're just being toxic okay um and this whole idea of us like i notice that women get together when it has to do with making men feel less than yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they Fuck will them guys. <laughs> <laughs> however Fuck when dudes. it when it comes to truly standing up for women mm-hmm. i see th- there's a lot of issue there yeah. where it's like you're not sticking together as much as you probably should mm-hmm. yeah i mean i i think you know the opposite which is like i feel like we're a lot closer than we were a couple years back in like supporting each other and i think um platforms this year had a lot to do with it such as like only fans like people sometimes drew a line in like oh well she's too sexual like that's my line you know and like it was like well she's making money why is that a problem you know such as like what we were talking about but yeah that's an interesting point <clears throat> that's an interesting point the only reason i bring that up mm-hmm. is because i feel like in that market of only fans we pushed one set of women to the side to bring in another set of women so in a sense it didn't change much it just got replaced right mm-hmm. because the only fans mm-hmm. had the stigma of it being a sexual sex oriented porn star or- oriented website yeah. right which isn't the intended use for only fans right yeah, it's not. but we pushed that set of people to the side, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's frowned upon. Yeah. And so then we brought this new idea, right? Mm-hmm. Quote unquote, right? Of, you know, it's okay to be sexual. It's okay to be on the internet. Well, kind of, mm-hmm. right? Because we pushed that set of women that we don't agree with to the side mm-hmm. because we still don't agree with the women porn stars selling mm-hmm. porn on OnlyFans. Let's mm-hmm. make that very clear, mm-hmm. right? And so we pushed that set of women to bring mm-hmm. in another set of women that were okaying kind of, 
to be sexy or be whatever you want to call it on OnlyFans. So right? I think the reason that I think we're a lot closer to our goal of like supporting each other as women because of OnlyFans is like OnlyFans brought up the conversation of um, sex workers, like and sex workers being people that you know in your daily life. Mm hmm. Um, like I know a couple friends that got into OnlyFans and I'm just like, why never, you know, thought you were, you know, the type of picture, the, the type of person to take pictures of yourself like that, but cool, you know, mm -hmm. but I'd never like saw them in that way. Are we cool? And it, and it Are we cool with it? <laughs> Are like, we cool with it? I Go am. On. I really am. I really am. Like the more you do to empower yourself, the more like I give. So are you okay with seeing your friends like that? absolutely really well, whenever like some of, one of my friend uh one of my friends lives in california um which you know she moved out there because she got so much money from only fans mm -hmm. that you know she's living living a big and i you know i wish i could have you know helped her gain more popularity and just videos but if she found you know her happiness there then I, who am i to knock it down um I think she's cool. she's perfectly fine with it. And You're a rarity. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable seeing all my friends naked. <laughs> but that's cool. So, I mean, she had a TikTok and, and sometimes she would send me her sexual ones. She'd be like, you think that's too much? And I'm like, you know what? Show more ass. That's what I think. Nice. And she's like, You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that's cool. I don't know. What were you going to say, Claudia? Because you made. Yeah. Just because you mentioned sex work. And I think that B mentioned something very important in sex work. To me, when I think about sex work, I don't think about the people that created OnlyFans just because they realized that it was going to give money and they already had a platform. Mm -hmm. To me, sex work is genuinely a person that you're either in the street doing what you got to do, mm -hmm. you're at a strip club doing what you got to do, or you're in mm -hmm. front of a camera doing what you got to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, if you start OnlyFans and you already had some type of base on Instagram, on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, on Instagram, you're showing your ass the same way you show it on OnlyFans. So is it really sex work? That's true. So that's just that was just my guys, thought. When, guys are getting gypped. Yeah. When, when you really? mentioned that. Yeah. Guys are getting gypped, by oh. the way. Because they're I mean, on Instagram. It's, it's, it's the same it's, picture. I mean, right? it's called, yeah. uh, what is it called? It's called soft porn, isn't it? Like when yeah. it's like not even like dick or whatever can i say that I'm yeah, sorry. yeah 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 it's when it's not like dick, dick and, it up. and vag or whatever it's like soft porn that's yeah. what it's called but I, it's I, yeah. I feel like come on Jeez. ladies we got we got to be real here <laughs> the, the only fans in the instagram sometimes is the same damn fucking thing mm -hmm. you know just because you took the top off and put your hands over it doesn't change the fucking <laughs> picture like <People laughs> do that on instagram <laughs> like, like it doesn't change the picture, you know what I'm saying? Like I think on OnlyFans, she's like on Instagram, I got the bra on. Right. <laughs> on OnlyFans, I took it off. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you got the hand bra now. <laughs> like the teaser. The yeah. Teaser before it. Yeah. Like what? We're getting gypped. But that's neither here or there, right? <laughs> that's neither here or there. See, the real ones are gonna everything, <laughs> and none of the ones we push to the side because we didn't want to see dirty assholes. <laughs> but yeah. So I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't think we're at a, at a, at a place where, where we're ever going to, and that's not just a women thing, right? I want to be realistic, right? It's not a women yeah. thing. It's a guy thing too, right? It yeah. happens for guys. It just happens on a different platform, right? Um, the rapper dude, right? The rapper dude trying to rap. <laughs> it's almost essentially the same thing, right? He's trying to rap. Some of the dudes probably trying to do the same shit. Uh, not very supportive of each other. <laughs> and dudes aren't very support, supportive of each other, period. Like we're just not very supportive. Like, well, that should change. It should, yeah. but... I mean, that's a bunch of problems we have to change within men and women, right? Yeah. I don't think, I don't know. It's, Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think that men are less supportive of each other because, like, of the way, you know, men were supposed to grow up, quote unquote, supposed to? Because, you know, you weren't allowed to cry, you weren't allowed to show emotions as much as women. And so, do you think that had a lot to do with, like, the way you, like, you, you think they men don't support men you go first keith really uh <laughs> what do you think it is what do you think it is that we don't support men it's a it's a it's a selfishness within your own place it's you not it's you wanting to be better than somebody else basically so hating yeah you hate basically a lot of people hate and they don't i hate people, openly 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, but people don't hate like outwardly, like competition. Like you do. Yeah, they they always they always say they want to do better for you, but again, no one they don't want you to do better than them mm. necessarily. I got a better one for my answer. I think guys just don't know how to support each other. You just don't think they know how. Like we just don't know how to. We don't, and it might stem from that, right? From like, us being told that we have to be a certain way as men, mm-hmm. right? We have to be a certain way. We can't do. Like I see it now, right? Like. How many times do you see a guy compliment another guy on a com- on a picture? Right. Like hardly ever, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just don't you don't do it, right? They might hit like, but they're not <laughs> gonna compliment like, damn, you know, you look handsome. Or a nice like, beard. <laughs> right, or a nice beard, you know? Like yeah. cool. You know, we don't we don't do that shit. I don't yeah. I it has to do with we just pop we don't know how to, for one, and us, you know, growing up being told that we have to be quote unquote mm-hmm. a man's man. Right. Right. And so I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, So, yeah. Tell me more about this podcast. Where where, where are you thinking of platforms to have it on? What platforms are you having it on? Yeah. So I I think uh, mostly like the Apple platform um, and YouTube. That's where I basically want to do it. I want to do little snippets of videos with multiple cameras, possibly um, like to focus in on each person that comes in and stuff like that. And I want to do a desk kind of studio set mm-hmm. way, where we can like lean on the desk and like talk about hot topics, kind of like mm. where like news anchors would do it, where you have like a paper in front of you. Mm. And you're just like, right, well, let's you know, talk about this. Ah, that's you know? a good idea. Yeah. And um, I'm an animator and editor. So like, you know, I want to put like several different clips of things. While wait, you animate? Talk. Yeah. And, I edit and stuff like that. So it's, yeah. Oh, man, we got to hit you up. <laughs> For sure. Like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> it's a car. What the fuck? Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> He's just hiding just, everybody. Right? Just hiding yes. people from us. Right. We have a podcast, dude. Come on. <laughs> Look us up. A little bit something. You know, we scratch your back. You scratch your ass. <laughs> um, you mentioned having, um, you said people who have a lot of knowledge. So what type of folks are you looking to have on this podcast? Like yes. besides, is it just women? Mm-hmm. Is it just men? Uh, is it a mixture of both? Is it uh, like what kind? Like tell us, tell us what kind of people you're looking for to be on this podcast. So I want to look at like um, successful like entrepreneurs in the in the business, or like people who work directly with like um, immigration and like things like that, who would know more on, and have more access to maybe listeners or viewers who chime in and maybe they can like you know portal them through um, and support them through their process and things like that and if they feel like they need any help like therapy wise etc like I also want to have you know people that know about that um, I, you know I, I don't know how exactly to get to find these people I know I have one person in mind for the immigration mm-hmm. um, stuff but you know I I just want to you know get people who are more knowledgeable than i am yeah yeah that makes sense Mm -hmm. i feel like i'm a shitty immigrant child what yeah stop yeah (laughs) i do i do do feel like i'm a shitty immigrant child only because um i don't know i don't think i quite understand a lot of you know what i'm saying like it's very difficult for me to grasp that idea sometimes Mm -hmm. right and i feel for the people right i feel for my people i feel for the people who are going through stuff like that right all our latinx community right the word that go through things like that but it just i just it, it's hard for me to grasp where mm-hmm. it's right and wrong right i always constantly battle with the idea of well why is it good why is it bad right yeah. there's a lot of issues within immigration and i think somebody mentioned a while back that they wanted us to do a podcast about that so when you find that person let me know because i want to have them on here yeah. but they it's a lot of issues right with the immigration stuff um mm-hmm. i don't know how knowledgeable you are in that mm-hmm. I'm um, not as knowledgeable as I'd like to be. Yeah. And so sometimes I do feel like I feel my community too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm a shitty, you know, like you <laughs> want to know about these things, right? You want to know what's going on. But I, I think only... that's my intention though. That's my pure intention for the podcast is to bring a lot of these people who are more knowledgeable to the platform and to have like many listeners be like, oh shit, like they know what they're talking about. Like, oh, like I can relate to that and like not knowing. And I want to educate people and educate myself while you know they're educating other people you know on that 
So are you uh, from immigrant parents and or you were born you were born here? I was born here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm uh, both my parents immigrated here. OK. Very young. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And how was how was how was that not putting your business out there? But <laughs> how was growing up with Guatemalan parents from Guatemala? <laughs> I mean, Guatemala? I'm an open book, so you know, ask ask away. Yeah, uh, I it, it was it was good. I mean, I had a very happy childhood. I would say, both parents uh, lovingly married, um, and they met when they're in their twenties. So they had my sister at twenty one, and they had me at like twenty two, like shortly after, mm-hmm. or twenty three. And yeah, like it was a happy childhood, but I think um, a lot we we grew up um, a lot poorer and than I knew, <laughs> and um, but I never got to experience that in a way. Like I was more so like blindsided by the fact that we were poor because when we moved to the suburbs, when my mom had enough money to move to the suburbs. Um, my dad actually had quit his job and he was a stay-at-home dad and that Mm -hmm. was something that like blew my mind you know um but then it it came with a lot of racism too because um we moved to berwin i don't know if you guys know where berwin is i just had a conversation (laughs) about berwin Um, and how ghetto it is (laughs) but it used to be very like when i got there at least like 20 years ago it was yeah it was primarily just Italian people, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Italian, Polish, and just a mixture of white, just a lot of mixture of white. And um, at that time, like, I mean, I had one black friend, like two Hispanic friends, but they were all like, <laughs> but they were all like yeah. whitewashed <laughs> because that's all we knew. Like, we only knew other white people. So that was the thing. And then um, I so were you, you. So you were like that. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was whitewashed a lot of the time and I, oh. for a majority of my life, and I was talking to Dakar about this a long time ago, but for a majority of my life, I didn't notice how racist I was. And, and it was because of like my roots towards, too. towards, you know, black people towards like, yeah, like Latinos. Was, yeah. Towards my own community what? because I viewed <laughs> myself as, I don't know why, like this white suburban, like kid, you know, like, and it was not it. And it was only until I went to college that I had a mixture of friends. And I was like, wow, like these people are not what I thought they would be. And it broke down all of my like insecurities, all of who I was. And I embraced myself <laughs> a lot more than I did mm. in high school, which sucks to realize afterwards. But So you embrace your Guatemalan culture more now? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I but, visit like every year. <laughs> what about you, Claudia? <laughs> Do you are you do you feel like you're you embrace your Cuban culture enough? Yeah, you I, do. I mean, yeah. F- for me, it's a I would say it's a little different. I was born in Cuba. I migrated here at the age of eight, so I I already know enough of the culture to kind of just continue with. But it. you embrace it, right? Yeah, like because you can leave and I'm gonna give a shit about it later. You know, like you can. Like, no, no. Like for <laughs> me, if it were for me, I would move to the island nice. like this Be- i always tell my parents i'm like i didn't choose to come here y'all brought me <laughs> <laughs> um nice so no yeah what I about you keith it. you embrace your culture your black culture especially right now <laughs> jesus do i have to <laughs> if you don't you know mm, i mean the car's gonna look at you crazy <laughs> <laughs> really are you gonna look at me crazy mm-hmm. she'll, yes she'll look at you crazy oh you will <laughs> really? I mean, I, you, em- <laughs> you you embrace it? I embrace it in some ways. Like I don't agree with everything we do. Is that is that not good to say? I don't know. I'm afraid to say anything. Why? <laughs> what? Because I have a podcast. That we're supposed to have these difficult conversations. But I'm willing to. The world's not ready. <laughs> not for me, at least. Like the world's not ready for me. The type of conversations yeah. I'm trying to have, you're gonna be mad. You're gonna want to punch mean, me or shoot me. It took me a long time to to even confess to people that i used to be racist it mm. took me a long time because like it's such a shameful part of myself I really think. yeah absolutely i don't look at it as shameful i mean I, I wasn't the most mexican kid growing up and i'm still not the most mexican no. kid like, growing up. I, I had one i again i had one black friend and i was like well i'm not racist obviously you know but it's just like no that we were all whitewashed oh, like no. berwin was all whitewashed and so it took me a long time to accept the fact and like move past it and, like be like no like we're, we're not the same person damn so. ah, the world is moving in a funny place man 
I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Really? So you, do you think you embrace Mexican culture? No. Do you think you're wrong for that? <laughs> you said that too quick. Um, <laughs> so, again, why? Why we can't, we can't like everything our culture do because some of the just, stuff is just, we do is like dumb. It don't, it's like, yeah. it don't make sense. I mean, I'll, yeah. <laughs> right? But I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I, ever since I was a kid, I don't, I like, I don't see the, the, I don't like Mexican music. I don't like soccer. I don't like none of that shit. Like, I don't like any, I don't like a lot of the things that you're supposed to like as a Mexican kid, I guess. Or, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't like, like, I don't like, I don't know, man. It's just weird. Like, I, I think, if anything, I, I, I identify more with the black culture, as crazy as that sounds. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I identify more with that culture. Um, and so, I, I, I don't know. It's just, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's the way I grew up. It's the way, it's who I grew up around. It's, it's a lot of things, right? And a lot of things play a part into that, right? I don't know. Like, <laughs> is, that, is, that a, is that a thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that, like, like you get what I'm saying? Chicago, that's not a thing. Like, what are we talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Like, like but, what are we talking yeah. about? You but know? if you only grew up around black people, what are you supposed to think? Like I didn't only grow up around black I'm not, people, I know, but I grew up around saying. a lot of black people. Like you know, like I grew up around a lot of yeah. black people, so that's not a thing. Like I don't understand. Like it could be one thing for one race, but it can't be the other for the the other race. Mm -hmm. Like it could be. It's okay. It's okay to be. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I accept uh, you. I know. Yeah, yeah. Don't it's like a bunch me. of. I know. Yeah, it's like a bunch of things. You know, and so. <laughs> Who gives a shit? To me, I'm just like, like what the fuck you like? Kendall Jenner wants to make tequila? Make the fucking tequila. I don't give a shit. It's not doing anything for me. And guess what? The Mexicans that are doing the tequila and making the tequila are very appreciative of the work. Okay, sure. so what if what if the reason that you don't take it personal is because you, you don't like identify with more of your Hispanic or Latino culture? Like that, maybe that's why you don't take it that, as personal. That, that, that could be, be, but that could be. Yeah, I should ask <laughs> Rojas. That's the most Mexican kid I know. <laughs> he would probably tell you the same shit. He'd be like, "I don't give a fuck. I'm not buying that shit anyway." <laughs> like, <laughs> like we know what we know. We know what we like, right? And yeah. so we're not gonna buy any, any, anyway. It's not our. It's not dictated to. It's not aimed at us. Right? It's, it really isn't. I think right? it's more so rich people trying to get tequila. Uh, it's popping. I don't blame you. You know, it's like. Going against the grain. Why would you go against the grain? For what? You know what I'm saying? Every automotive business is trying to make electric cars. Like, are we going to bash all the dudes that are trying to make electric shit? Like, no. Like, fuck. That's the direction that the business is going. So things are going in a direction, right? Businesses are going in a direction. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I don't identify with that because I'm not as as supportive or, or as, as supportive as I should be, right? Mm -hmm. But I like Mexican people. They're my people. I still, I still, as much as they hate me, I love them. You know? Like... <laughs> they don't like they really don't embrace me right and so that's the reality of things right mm -hmm. they don't embrace me i'm not i don't get the love from mexican okay. mexican people i just don't yeah not even mexican women they won't even look my way you, you you strike me as someone with um uh like maybe asian uh features go ahead honest. <laughs> I know what you're saying by Asian. Oh my god. No, Amy, no, come like, on. Come on. Come no, on. Like, <laughs> like um Middle Eastern. A, Middle Eastern or like a little bit yeah. Malaysian in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, maybe. I, I don't know. I mean, I I thought that was, you know. No, I'm Mexican. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint yeah. you. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I got that wrong. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You can call me whatever you want. I've been called everything in the book. That's what I said. I'm willing to have these conversations. People are not. Mm. Just, yeah. They're just not. Mm. And I, I want, I'm interested to see where, this, where your podcast goes. Thank you. Because yeah. if you're willing to have me on there... I'm a guest on there, so yeah. if you're ready to get canceled, you let me know. <laughs> you give me a call. I, I will, I will I get you can talk canceled about in, a jiff, in a jiffy. I want to talk about everything under the sun. Yeah? So. We try to do that here, but, you know, <laughs> when you start to realize that, you know, I mean, we did, we did one fucking episode and we got chewed out because we yeah. said something. And one word. One word. <laughs> and then that shit like was like, hey, don't say that shit. We're like, oh, my God, we're sorry. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Did you guys take it down though? How does that? How does I that work? Know. No, kept that no. shit up there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we kept it up. We don't really <laughs> typically take shit down. I bleep stuff out. Okay. Yeah, I bleep. <laughs> I bleep things out that I think are gonna be like taken the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. So I do have some consideration, mostly because you know, 
there's three people on this podcast. What I do with it, you know, might be different. But yeah. I'm also not ready to get canceled by the world. Mm-hmm. You know, I also have a job <laughs> that I kind of like. So <laughs> yeah. I should probably not say everything I'm feeling in my head, right? Mm-hmm. So that's where, where I, like, if you're fucking like, this is what you're doing for a living, then fuck it, you know? Say what the fuck you want to say when you yeah. want to say it, you know? If I was yeah. making millions of dollars off of this shit, oh, yeah. I'd be like, you know what? <clears throat> You're going to meet the real me now, <laughs> you know, because I like you said, I'm willing to have those conversations, I think. And then specifically with men and women, specifically with racial topics, because those are the ones that I'm interested in the most. Yeah. I want people to talk. So I have the same idea you have, but yeah. the world doesn't think that way, sadly. Yeah. So but I think it's important to have those kind of conversations yeah. because then that's when you really learn, like, why you are the way that you are and mm-hmm. like why women are, you know, maybe a little bit toxic to each other and things like that. You really get to the stem of things. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like, it's do you consider yourself a toxic person? Like a toxic woman towards other um, women? Not Come to on, other you've women. You've never hated another woman? I've hated on my own sister. Why? Majority, because she's always been skinny and uh. a skinny mini, you know, and I've always had the overweight trait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but never to the extent of like, like hating, hating though. Like, wishing death or like nothing like that nothing crazy i don't think i'm i'm a crazy toxic i'm a healthy amount we're like i'm like shit like wish that shirt could look a little shitty on you (laughs) like just a little bit do we think guys are more supportive of women than men i mean than women like when men are more supportive of women than women are Hmm. i i genuinely think that when a man compliments a woman he means it Usually, if you don't get a compliment from from a man, it, like it's fine. Maybe he just doesn't say it. But mm-hmm. men tend to like just mind their own business, not care. Like whatever, you don't look good. You don't look good. Mm-hmm. But when they compliment you, I feel like they genuinely mean it. Whereas for us women, we, a lot of the times we look at the little details. Mm-hmm. Right. We're like, oh, but that could be better because, mm-hmm. oh, I could see a little pudge or, oh, I could see this. or oh. And when reality is that then we even do that with ourselves because yeah. I've caught myself doing that. Mm-hmm. And then I go out and they're like, you look fucking fine. Like, I don't see anything wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also our mentality. So we tend mm-hmm. to put that onto other people sometimes. Yeah. Not all women, but some women do. I don't think men are more supportive of women i've i've experienced (laughs) i've experienced way more men hate on like everything positive about a woman's features and uh, different times obviously not the same man but like that's where i don't think it's 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 more the men supporting women i think what (laughs) i can see i can see where you're coming from when it comes to body shaming for Mm -hmm. sure i can see where you're coming from there it Mm -hmm. they do take it there. right absolutely so when it comes to like career wise though <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? career wise though i feel like yeah you guys are way more supportive of like yeah like you know do that but uh, i mean half of the guys are, said, oh. <laughs> i mean yeah, half, i think so wait wait, so, wait no so let's ca- talk career wise i feel yeah, like career wise, wise if i'm being honest mm-hmm. if you're working <laughs> mainly with a group of men uh-huh sure they will listen to you like i'm Mm -hmm. sure that they'll listen and they'll be interested in what you're saying but a lot of times it's between that group of men Mm -hmm. i personally have never really worked in a circle where it's just men um Mm -hmm. but i have heard a lot of my colleagues mention that it's it's not easy it's Mm -hmm. a very different culture and it's something that you definitely do need to put yourself in so you can understand and either you survive it or you don't like you really need to stand your ground yeah my mama my mama works in the she's the only woman on her shift and and she holds it down (laughs) she holds it down but again like claudia's saying you you have to again it's and that's what i'm that's what bothers me about it right it's the idea that that we have to take it easy because you're a woman or we have to change the culture around it because you're a woman. No, that's not changing. You have to be willing to kind of work, right? So yeah. in a sense, play into that and then do what you got to do, right? I think mm-hmm. it's possible. Yeah. But Claudia said you either survive or you don't. And mm-hmm. you have to be firm on standing your ground when you're dealing with mm-hmm. 
the average guy, I guess you could say. I don't know. Uh, and I don't know why that may be. To me, I look at it that way. Like, if you come into a space, I'm not treating you no different. I'm not yeah. treating Claudia no different on this podcast. You know, she has other views and aspects that adds to the podcast. But I'm not like Claudia knows, knows less than me or Claudia mm-hmm. this, you know, or whatever. Or putting like, her on a pedestal just because she's right. right. Oh. right. There's mm-hmm. times on this podcast where I me- I just did that last <laughs> this week. I messaged her and I was like, you know what? I was wrong about this shit. You was right. And she was like, I know I was right. It, it does, you know like but it doesn't it, it's, it's not it's not like a you know what i'm saying like if she would have done that i feel like with the typical man it would have been an issue yeah, right yeah. because you would have been like oh well, why you, you think you're always yeah. right well i mm-hmm. don't give a shit you was right what the fuck am i supposed to do <laughs> yeah. you was right you know i was wrong you were right because mm-hmm. i listened back on the episode and i was like i sound like a dumbass <laughs> but and then i messaged her and i was like you were right i'm editing the podcast now and i was wrong you were right uh, mm-hmm. my bad um and we move on right and so i think that's where you stand your ground right claudia standing her ground i knew i was right cool you were right yeah. i respect that you know yeah. i respect i respect that and i think that's where it, where it needs to be right mm-hmm. even in the field now that i work in it's start it, at, at this particular place i'm at it's starting to change right the culture starting to change and so mm-hmm. we're adding women into this culture right and so it's different i want to mm-hmm. see I, I did i said this in a meeting that we were having I said, I'm willing to learn from the woman perspective, right? From a woman telling me what she know, knows in her knowledge. I'm willing to take that. Yeah. I'm willing to completely listen and see where you're coming from. I might not agree with it, but I'll see where you're coming from. And you might teach me something. Yeah. But I'm not going to, uh, I don't, you, you can't uh, not take the criticism the other way, right? So you got to be able to look at my spectrum of things too. You got to be like, oh, like you, what you do. Is different from how I do it, but I'm going to take those skills that you're telling me or the knowledge or whatever you're telling me, and I'm going to take it and do whatever with it, right? And I think we don't do that often, right? As men and women, we don't want to see the other side of the spectrum of the man or the woman. Yeah. And that's a lot, that's a lot of the issue, right, is mm-hmm. we, don't, we don't take into consideration none of that shit. Like yeah, I said, something simple as Claudia saying she was right could have started an mm-hmm. argument with a regular dude. Yeah, with somebody that was, you know, maybe narcissistic or you know. whatever. But it's just like the mutual being called respect a pussy. has to be there, and I feel we're being called a pussy, right? Like, like I, t- for instance, I sometimes tend to have a smart mouth and mm-hmm. see, like, <laughs> see. I I, te- I tend to sometimes, tend to sometimes, and I come out with like smart comments, mm-hmm. and there have been occasions where a man has kind of been like, yo, and I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not going to back down. Mm. I'm going to continue to call you out. Mm -hmm. Um, Whereas I've experienced other friends that Mm -hmm. they tend to just back away from the situation. And I'm Mm -hmm. that person that's like, no, like, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Right. Yeah. Um, But I guess not everyone is like that. Like for me, I don't care. I'll I'll confront you. Hit me. Shit. Do it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You can't do it. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't I, do it. I like that, though. Like, I like that, like, you're very forward with, like, what you feel and what you, you know, think. Yeah, because many much, people sometimes. will back down to other people that, you know, contradict what they're, what they're saying. Yeah. So, no, I no. think I'm glad that you had, you know, mutual respect in, in the matter. I always do. Yeah. Mutual okay. respect to everything. I'm pretty much That's great. I live by the shit. I live <laughs> by what what you know. what I'm saying like if you're if you're you're, I'm not gonna come at you sideways because you're a man or a woman. I'm not gonna come at you sideways because you're gay and straight. I'm not gonna come at you. I'm gonna come at you like you're a fucking person, mm-hmm. and we're gonna go from there. That's what it boils down to. Yeah. And people don't dictate the conversation that way though. Mm-hmm. People will will the moment I pre- you press back, it becomes oh I'm a girl, mm-hmm. oh I'm gay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm this, and to me that don't apply. I don't give a fuck what you are, black, white, Asian, anything, like gay, straight, none of that shit. I'm gonna treat you the same, and you're gonna treat me this with respect, and I'm gonna treat you with respect. And there's a mutual understanding. I think that's the way. That's why I'm able to build so many relationships with folks, right? Mm-hmm. It's because you, you. I mean, I'll let you dictate the conversation. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see where this goes, right? And so. Mm-hmm. I think the only people that you would clash with would be people that really is, are like narcissists and can't see their own wrongs. Those are my favorite people. <laughs> really? Yeah. I love those people. Why? I really can't. I cannot. 
I don't my, know. Some of my favorite people I like. Like I mentioned this. Some of my favorite people that I like are narcissistic assholes. I don't. Mm-mm. And then if I clash heads with one of them, I don't that's even better. I that. I don't. And that's even better. Any it's of my It's even better when you're like, that's a just, oh, I feed off of that. <laughs> I feel, I feed off of. Who of, is this guy? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sick. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, <too. laughs> I'm sick. You're twisted, man. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you you can you can make your own decision on that, but I don't know. It, it, we need to we need to even the playing field, man. That's all. Yeah. You know, and I'm willing to have these conversations. Someday the world will figure it out. I guess it probably won't be in my lifetime, but that was cool. I think we're gonna wrap this up. All right. Um. We appreciate you being here, Amy. It was a good time. Um, some good topics. We talked shit a little bit, and we promoted your podcast. <laughs> That'll be coming soon, hopefully. Yes. Um, and that's badass. And we, we wish you success in that. Um, and maybe we'll be on there as a guest, one of us. Maybe. Yeah, of course. Maybe. I'll probably be the that. last one on there. <laughs> the last person you would ask, probably. Nah, It'd don't be like say that. Keith, <laughs> Claudia, and then me. No, no, no. I mean, I feel like you and me have very contradicting thoughts on some things. A lot. So I think it'd be, you know, I think you'd be the first guest because because of that. (laughs) Hell yeah. I need to like challenge me. Challenge you. Challenge me. For sure. I promise you won't hurt my feelings. (laughs) We'll talk. I don't know. I can't promise you the same because I'm a Sagittarius and it's just how I am. Mm. But. We got to talk about that too. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hurt my feelings. (laughs) Huh? Hurt my feelings all the time. <laughs> nah, yeah, no, no. I'm talking about like the zodiac signs. Oh, okay. so, yeah, that's a different conversation <laughs> for a different yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, you guys invite me back. I would love. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. definitely have you back. A lot of our guests we want to have back, so we'll work our way that way again and try right, to get awesome. some more folks in. <laughs> Jade's been cheating. She's been on here twice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna wrap this up. But before we get out of here, I do want to say that we are on all streaming platforms. We are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and we are on Anchor for your ass. And we're on YouTube, so go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, Keith would greatly appreciate it, even though he won't tell you. <laughs> and uh, don't forget, we are your podcast, favorite podcast. And we are Audi. Thanks, Amy. All right, bye. Thank Peace. you. Bye.